Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. Hey, I asked you, what would you like to see next in my All About Ableton Live series? And you said, quite overwhelmingly, Ableton Live 12 new MIDI tools. So we will be doing that. I will be trying to use all of them while making a track, while explaining how they work to you. So stay till the end so that you can hear what I actually made. And also there's a little extra secret tip I wanna share with you in regards to these MIDI tools. So let's get going. These ones are transformation tools. So we have appreciate, connect, ornament, quantize, rec recombine, span, strum, time warp. We also have generative tools, which are rhythm, seed, shape, and stack. So stacks, creating chord progressions. I want to make sure that I'm in A minor, this scale of my soul. <laughs> Dark. Now we're going to go and find root of the chord. So let's start with A. A3. So as soon as I went with the root and just added A3, you can see that some notes have appeared. Let's put some classes so I can see. They appeared because I have this generate button on. If I don't have it on, I cannot see what I'm generating here. Also, we have this uh, apply button. Whatever changes I have created in any of these MIDI tools, I can just apply them to the here. Let's just hear how this sounds. We have a chord, everybody. Okay, we also can create inversions of the chord. There's one, two, and zero. Can you see that this is changing? So we can actually go like example zero inversion. And then we can go and do different inversions of the zero. Now, if we want to add another chord, we're going to go here and click another one. And what it's created is another chord. So now we can example go and create E3. And let's create different inversion for that. Another chord, uh, C. Th another one, A. Okay, so it's quite fast right now. So we can obviously change the duration from here. So the duration is the, the length of the notes. As you can see, I'm just changing the length. But if I want to make it now a little bit slower, I can just go to the clip editing window here and I can just make it double longer. And I'm just going to make that octave lower. Great. I'm also very happy that this video is sponsored by DistroKid. So now in DistroKid, you can also master your tracks. And I've actually tried this out and for AI mastering, I think it is really good for what you're getting with it. Uh, the quality and the kind of ways that you can customize it is really decent. So when you have your mix, which I have a million versions of my mix, I can go and drag and drop the mix into here and it will upload. So it actually gives you options for low, mid and high intensity. And that is the compression and the expansion of the track. And then also we have EQ options. So it kind of gives you a little bit options uh, if you're not sure how to master tracks and you don't have the finances example to hire a professional mastering engineer. Here we go. This is how it sounds. what's already given the mid options work really well for this track so link to that below and the seven percent discount code for your first subscription with DistroKid. thank you DistroKid, for supporting my channel as always let's continue with this video tutorial so we're gonna go into strum strum allows us to make it almost like a guitar how guitar makes it so if we move this ball here to high can you see what happens to the high notes of the chord? They're moving to the right. If I do the opposite, so I move the low ball front and back, I'm moving the lower chords, right? We also have the tension here. The middle notes are moving a little bit more to the right. Here, recombine. It allows us to swap around pitch, length, and velocity from the chords. So example, I can swap the pitch, length, and velocity of these two notes with each other. So by going to this area here, if I go to the left, 
and scroll down left, you can see that I'm swapping them around. Back here. So let's select a couple of random ones here. We also have Shuffle and Miro. Shuffle will apply randomly any of the selected parameters, and Miro will create an opposite of the selected parameters. Very fun tool to create example, more complex chord variations. Lovely stuff. So now we're going to create a little solo instrument. So I'm going to create another clip here and we're going to go to generate tools and go and pick shape. Okay. So we can go here and uh, do different shapes. We can select the rate, the tie of it, and density, again, how many, and we have jitter. So we can create very interesting lines, melody lines using this. We can also draw here. And it will always stay in A minor because we're in scale. Another cool way to create a solo instrument is we can take the chords that we had in the chords already. So again, transformation tools, and we're going to go arpeggiate. Here we go. So we have style. We can go up and down example. Uh, we can select the distance of it. So you can see what's the distance between the steps. And then we have the amount of steps. Rate, so how fast is it going to be? And the gauge, so how long are the notes? So how will do chords and that sound together? At this point, if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I have a lots and lots of lots of Ableton Live content here, so you will learn everything about Ableton Live on my channel. Another really cool thing I'm actually going to show with the chords is ornaments. Uh, ornaments. There's a thing called flam, and flam allows to create this like a little note in front of the notes. So you can see here. <laughs> it sounds really cool, and we can position it front or kind of in front of it. Okay, another thing would be grace notes. So we can also put them up or down. So a bit like a flam, but it's either in the same level or higher or lower. And we can also add many of them. So let example, we could add three. There we go. So some of them are lower, some of them are higher. We can position them in front of it. We can also ha change the chance of it, so when it plays the uh, the loop, sometimes it's not going to play it, sometimes it will play it. We also make them same, so they're all in the same level, or higher or lower. I like them for bass, chords, uh, even for drums, uh, to add some little detail. Okay, let's create a bass now. Create an empty clip, and now we're going to create it with a thing called seed. We can control and generate sounds using pitch, duration, velocity, and what voices, how many voices we have, and the density of the voices. So let's create something using the pitch. So we're going to go here and maybe lower notes. Already, that's kind of cool. Select the duration of it, the notes. The density of them. So how much of them are velocity of the notes. But right now we only have one pitch, so let's put another one. So let's put like B2 to C. So. so voices means that how many voices do we have on the same time? So example, if I don't want them to overlap, I'm just going to go one. And to make it a little bit more human, I can go to here, clip editing, and then use humanize to add some natural human groove to it. 
connect. So connect is basically we're creating some notes between empty spaces between notes. You know what I mean? So example, I could remove these two notes here. And between these notes, I'm going to select that note there and that note there. We are now going to create a pattern between these notes. Spread, we have the density again, how many notes we want to use. We have the rate of them. So I could create a lot of stuff there by putting a very high rate. Tie, which is the probability of the different lengths. So if I have it a little bit slower, uh, they are going to be all very short. And then if I put it very max, it's going to be very long notes. But let's have it right a little bit lower. I kind of like that. Note length is a massive thing when it comes to groove and stuff. Then that is definitely something we can control using span here. With this, we can control the length of the notes. So example, we have a legato, which is very long. We have tenuto, which is uh, like a little bit shorter. And we have staccato, which is very fast. So we can also have the offset of them. A variation is some of them become sh shorter, some of them are longer. Which affects the groove a lot. If you are into Ableton Live, then make sure that check out my Ableton Live courses. I also have a push courses, push two, push three, and push live performance courses on my website. So there's a little uh, discount link for those down below. Next, we have beat. Let's put some beat on this. So we already have a drum rack here, 909 kit. We're going to create a clip, generative tools, and we're going to go rhythm. I'm going to approach this by adding a tom first that fits with the bass. So I'm going to go here and find hi tom. Hi tom. <laughs> and we're going to use the pattern control steps and intensity to find something that fits with the bass rhythm. We can also split them. So example, you can see that what happened there. We can also shift them. We also have the velocity controls and also velocity emphasis. So if I go here, the fifth note, or the second note. The transformation tools again, and we're going to go time warp. We have three bands. So if we're moving one of them left up, it will make anything on the left side faster. If we take it down, it will make the notes on the left slower. Faster. Same thing with the band on the right. We can also activate the middle one, which makes things faster in the middle or slower in the middle. The thing is I have right now quantize on, so it means that it's making it on time. So you can hear the difference that well, but if we take it off, slower. If you are struggling with the timing, use the quantize and it will make it on time. Last one we have quantize and quantize is the easiest one. You can see that the rim sound now is a little bit off the grid. That means that if it would be on time, it would be here. And now it's off time, it's here because I didn't play on time. So we can fix that. So we have the current grid, if we click that, it will go to that grid. Otherwise, we have options here. We have one uh, eighth, one fourth, one sixteen, one thirty-three. So this is also the amount of it. So how much will it will fit that grid? So here's the little extra tip. So. The cool thing about MIDI tools is, so we have max for life devices that you can actually add into it. We also have user ones. So you can actually custom create using max for life to, to, to create almost anything you want. But also I have example, this pack from Isotonic Studios that already comes with a lot of different ones for generative tools, as well as transformation tools. So I have all of them here and there's so much stuff. Example, poly polyrhythm.
the discussion continues in my Patreon, where I also give feedback, my community gives feedback, we have monthly challenges, and it really, really can help you to improve your quality and quantity of your production. So come and join us. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon and see you here again.